and welcome back to a new semester of Time Weekly. I'm your host, Kimberly Cruz. This week we'll be highlighting some fresh entertainment and CSUF news. Let's get started. Did you watch this year's Super Bowl halftime show? Because I sure did. The 2021 Super Bowl halftime show was performed by the one and only The Weeknd, who featured hit songs such as Blinding Lights and Save Your Tears, among other hits. Many praised The Weeknd for his cinematic performance, and the reactions on Twitter are hilarious, with some comparing the dancers who wore red suits and face bandages to the movie Us, saying, quote, I can't be the only one getting these vibes, unquote. Another user commented on the dancers' costumes, joking that, quote, this is the most mask people have worn in Florida in months. Unquote. And if you missed it, Miley Cyrus also performed at the Super Bowl pre-show alongside with Billy Idol tweeting, quote, who's my Superman? At Billy Idol, duh, unquote. Sounds like this year's halftime show was one for the books. In other exciting football news, Aaron Rodgers and Shailene Woodley are officially official. The Green Bay Packers quarterback announced his engagement to the Little Big Lies star during his MVP acceptance speech at the NFL Honors. During his speech, Rodgers gave a special thank you to his family and future wife, crediting them for the third MVP award of his career. Woodley was reported to be dating Rodgers just days before his surprise announcement. The Divergent star previously dated rugby player Ben Vola Vola until April of last year, while Rodgers split with former race car driver Danica Patrick last summer. Although the whirlwind romance came as a surprise to most, as one source said, quote, it's not surprising he proposed so fast. When you know, you know, right? Unquote. Congrats and best wishes to the happy couple. Netflix's newest hit show, Bridgerton, has the entire town square talking. Not only is it currently the most watched Netflix original, but now fans who can't get enough are begging for a musical adaptation on Broadway. After singer-songwriter Abigail Barlow binge-watched the show, she shared an original song on TikTok, where her views have been off the charts. Since then, she and writing partner Emily Bear have been busy composing an entire musical. From the actors to the author of the books, everyone is reportedly on board. Hey, they might just be headed from TikTok to Broadway one day. Titans, if you're always struggling to pick out GEs for the next semester, maybe this new requirement will help you narrow down your choices. The CSUF Academic Senate recently approved a new three-unit G requirement for the Ethnic Studies Department, which encompasses African American, Chicano Chicana, and Asian American studies. While there are still some logistics being worked out, this new requirement will give students a broadened horizon in learning about the history of marginalized people in this country and their numerous contributions to our society. No matter what you want to study, this new G requirement has something to offer for everyone, regardless of your major. Grab your bags and head over to platform nine and three quarters because we're going back to Hogwarts. Maybe. Although HBO Max and Warner Brothers have said in a previous statement that no Harry Potter series are currently in development, sources say that executives are meeting with writers and producers to pitch a new series. Harry Potter star Rupert Grint shared that he doesn't expect to be part of the series at this time, but he is highly protective of his character Ron Weasley. What do you think, Titans? Are you excited to see Hogwarts on the small screen or are the movies your Patronum? Let us know in the comments below. Well guys, that's all the time we have for today. Tune in next time for some more fresh entertainment and CSUF news. I'm Kimberly Cruz and I'll see you guys next week.